For today's RV upgrade, we're going to be installing a new set of shoes on Maggie's leveling system. Now, the product that we went with, we've been researching for a while. We've read the reviews. We've talked to people who own them. Heck, we've seen a couple of videos on them. We figured it was about time to take the plunge, so we bought a set of our own. Now, speaking of those videos, some of them, <laughs> when they had the box next to them, the company logo was right here, so you knew exactly what it was. Ours came blank, so we impressed. We went with RV snap pads. Now, what's an RV snap pad? It's a pad that will permanently mount to each leg of the leveling system, so there's no longer a need to crawl under the RV with pieces of wood or, or blocks to put under the pad. And I know that Cheryl likes that because that's what she used to do. Yay! <laughs> it also decreases setup time at the campground, and anything that gets us set up quicker gives us more time to do what we really want to do. We're all right with that. So let's open it up and see what's in it. Alright, we'll start with oh, the install instructions. Oops. <laughs> this is what we're talking about for a snap pad. We'll come down, it's gonna grab hold of it, it's never gonna let go. This is what's gonna sit on the ground all the time. Now this particular model is the prime model. We had to go with a prime model because Maggie has power gear levelers. The dimensions for the prime RV snap pads are 13 and a quarter by 13 and a quarter by two and three quarters tall. It is also going to increase the travel by an inch and an eighth because that is the thickness of the base right here. That will give us three plus more inches of a footprint when we have the levelers down. And last but not least, they each weigh 8.3 pounds. Now these have a two year warranty on them. They also have, see the recessed area and a hole in the middle? That will not hold water. <laughs> so it will not become a swimming pool for your leveling system. We also want to say that this has been tested to withstand more than 20,000 pounds of pressure. That's this particular model. Now, the reason I say this particular model is RV snap pads come in different models. You need to get the snap pad for your leveling system, not your particular coach. For example, if you go out and look at the Prime on the website and look at the description box, it's going to say that Power Gear levelers came in some Jayco's and some other brands. The key word there being some. This is a 2016, we do have power gear levelers. But starting in 2017, they changed that. These will not fit a 2017. I'm not sure about the 18 or the 19. But make sure you buy the pads for your levelers, not your coach. All right, let's talk about the footprint now. The power gear levelers come with a 10 inch footprint. You know that these are 13 and a quarter each way now. So now we're up to 13 and a quarter. Let me show you what we used to use. We had these, 12 by 12. We have a bunch of them, <laughs> but as you can see, it's a better footprint the other way. <laughs> and the other thing that we used were these. Now these actually come, I believe it was 12 by 14, but we're not expecting the RV snap pad to bend like this one did in the middle. <laughs> so basically we don't need any of this stuff anymore. So we can get rid of the weight from these to compensate for some of this weight. <laughs> it's a class A. We're really not worried about the weight at all. We have tons to go. <laughs> so let's um, we'll put these on. We moved Maggie out to the street mainly because, well, the pavement is a lot harder than the crush and go on her pad is. <laughs> so, oh, we want to say too, these are made in America and they are made from recycled tires, which makes them environmentally friendly. Not only that, makes them also rubber, which means there's a little extra added protection from an electrical surge due to a lightning strike. I like that. Yeah, that's very good. So what I need to do is I'm going to lube, where is it? I'm going to lube this outer lip with disc detergent. Now they recommend using that or grease. I don't want to use grease because I'm just afraid things will stick to it. I mean, at least when the detergent gets wet, it's going to wash away. Let's do it. All right. y'all thought I was missing. This is all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now Cheryl's gonna go inside and operate the levels Well, I line this up underneath. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you are, okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, are you not me anymore? All right, so Cheryl's getting the levelers ready up there. So I'm going to line this up somewhat. <laughs> and then when it gets close, I am going to tell her to stop so I can reline again. All right, I'm ready when you are. Stop! 
All right, let me get a closer look here. Actually, looked like I was pretty good. I'll bring it down. Let's see what happens. Here we go. There we go. You're done. You're done. All right. Now, notice how the lip is out all around. Now, for some reason, that did not happen, and part of it was out. You would just take a wooden piece of shim or like one of my wooden blocks that I had, put it on the side that it's sticking up from, bring it down again, and that will pop it in. So I retract? Yes, retract. And that's how it looks up. So that's how easy it was. Let's go over and do the driver's rear side now. I'm ready when you are, just let me know. I'm ready. All right, stop bringing it down. Stop, stop. Okay. Done, you're all set. everyone there you go the installation of the rv snap pads and hon, i gotta tell you out of all the jobs that we've done to maggie ranks right up there's one of the easiest ones what do you think it was a snap really <laughs> full disclaimer right now we are not being paid to make this video no we paid for those <laughs> but we do like it but you can see the one in the rear right there it's having no problem on maggie's pad as a matter of fact the manufacturer states that it can be used on asphalt concrete grass mud sand resin Whatever that is. Well, if we have a park on it, though, we're all set. <laughs> um, ice, snow, and then we hope we never have to try that. Yeah, no, we don't want to be on those two. Nope. Now, as far as what it's resistant to, it's resistant to UV exposure, water, heat, oil, tar, mud, and any other environmental hazard, which is kind of scary, because there's got to be a lot of hazards out there. That's kind of scary. Now, we were asked to explain why if we change something. So we went from having a metal pad to a rubber pad now. The reason that we did that is rubber is more resistant on all types of terrain. Just take for example if you had a steep hill, say in I don't know, San Francisco where the steep ones are, and you took a piece of metal and just kind of slid it down the street, it's going to go a little ways. Now take a piece of rubber and try to do it. That's not going to happen. Another reason to prove my point, it's like tires are made of rubber and not metal. <laughs> so that's why, that's why we changed it out. Not to mention, it just makes the setup easier because now I don't have to run around and put four pads underneath the jacks. So it's just easier. Yep, got to agree, even though I've never done it. <laughs> now, we've just put them on. What are our feelings? Well, so far we like them. Are we gonna take them off? No, you don't have to, the permit. It took 1,300 pounds of vertical pressure coming from the jack just to snap that on. So yeah, I can do it. <laughs> So that's not coming off. Can they come off? Yeah, but you gotta use a pry bar and you're probably gonna avoid your warranty if you do that. So really gotta be sure you wanna take it off. Yeah, definitely. Because I don't really see a need to. I mean, we've expanded our, our footprint and yeah. it's rubber. I mean, it's just, it's, it has nothing but pro columns, really. Exactly. So, and as far as water goes, it will drain out too. So that's not even a problem. Yeah, no, nope, I can't think of any right now, but we will let you know if we change our mind in the yes, future. Yes, definitely will, you know. Now, we will have a link down in the description box below if you want to get a set for yourself. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe right there. Right there. For those of you that keep missing it. Because we does... have a lot of stuff on the dining room table that I want off the dining room table. There you go. And that subscribe button doesn't move around, so don't tell me that's what the problem. <laughs> so this will bring to close another upgrade on Maggie. So until we do another video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get gone with us. And this is Brindy. Oh, yep. From Get Gone With Us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, check out the plane. Oh, my goodness. Hey, is he jumping? <laughs> <laughs>